Hey, what's up guys? It's AJ here from Eurocharge Minneapolis. Uh, I'm going to do a video here on the wing conversion for the R8, the Gen 2 models. Uh, a lot of people seem to have questions about how it's done. So I've got my personal car here um, torn apart just to show you. Uh, so we'll start off here. So this is the base plate of the Plus model. The difference between the Plus and the base is that there are two studs here that are built into the bracket. Um, what I found in the base model is you could just put a bolt through there with a nut and call it a day. So you just got to attach this bracket, which comes for the plus models only. So simply you're able to reuse this base plate out of your base model using it in a plus version for the fixed mount uh, wing. So you'll need to order a couple parts. So you'll need this bracket for sure. Um, and then coming on this side, this big bracket right here goes from here to about it's about that long um i think this actually i think it's that bolt that holds it in um so i've got it all loose right now but uh so you'll need that bracket <clears throat> and then also this bracket right here so this bracket actually holds the, the base panel so this is where your adjustment is for fitment height um and then, uh, so this one right here, this is again, this is, so the wing has a stud and it bolts into there. So there's a, there's one bolt that comes through like that and then you tighten it in and that's what holds the wing from actually popping out. So hopefully this helps you guys understand the difference between, um, base and a plus and the parts that are needed for going a base model to a plus you know, high, high mount wing. Um, again, just gonna take a real quick pan of here, but you'll have, you know, both sides, both brackets. Uh, everything else um, is pretty straightforward. On your base model, you'll have the motor that's underneath here. So this is where the arms come out for the wing to pop up. Uh, so you'll disassemble all that. You'll take all that stuff out. And then the last thing, of course, if you're going from a base to a plus wing, uh, you have to go into the cab. Uh, behind the seat is the fuse box, fuse panel, and you'll need to find the fuse for the wing mount. So you'll take the fuse out, and then also you'll need VCDS hex to be able to code the wing operation out. So there's plenty of write-ups online. I've seen that for for uh, how to code that out. So any questions, uh, you're welcome to message and ask. So the last thing real quick, these brackets... Um, so these couple brackets, the hardware, um, I believe is about $1,100. And then if you want this panel, for whatever reason, it was $900. And then if you get, so this is my plus panel that I put in my car. So it's, it's this whole thing. Um, and then the, you'll see the grill mounts. There's, this grill is separate and it has all those individual nuts so this alone was i believe about 15 or 1600 dollars in itself so most people will go with this route but if you want you can reuse your stock one you just got to drill this hole right here so you'll need to drill the two screw holes and the big square hole for the for the stud to come through um but yeah that's that's basically it so if you go you know the full kit and caboodle conversion i think you're looking around twenty eight hundred dollars for just the mounts and the brackets and the hardware otherwise just go with a couple you know just go with these bracket pieces these two on you know on each side uh you're going to need these brackets and then associated hardware and i think that was about eleven hundred dollars so again any questions please feel free to ask thank you